Yo, ah uh ah, -uh, wah wah, tis your boy, Jadon, legendary. We back on some paladin activity. We back on some paladin activity. Why? Because paladins are love. Okay? Look at that. 73.96. 45. You already know we running a power bill. Come on now. Stop playing with me, bruh. Stop playing with me, bruh. I just realized though, I'm. St okay, this character has proper items. So why the heck my warrior don't? My warrior is not fully geared. Maybe I forgot. But one thing I'm gonna need you not to forget is to hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Share with people, join the legendary clan, support the channel, become legendary. Every time I say something like that, you already know I'm about to allude it to you hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> That's the joke in every intro. Look, folks, I just wanted to hop on the Paladin because recently I was just doing an IOC on Retail Classic with the man Torment. And he was like, yo, I got 7,200 attack power. And I'm like, um, I'm going to need you to understand this right now. He's like, I got a bunch of PvE gear. I might not be able to do that good PvP. I'm like, I need you to get this right now. All right? When I'm on single player project and you see me doing the Paladin videos... That's about almost as much attack power I got. The only thing he missing is the Shadowmorn for that uh, top notch damage and weapon weight. Other than that, 7,300, well, shoot, 7,800 <laughs> attack power. All right, that's how you absolutely send people into the abyss. Okay, the beauty of the power build is, yes, you will be slightly squishier than everybody else. However, the damage output is so insane. That man went 22 and 2 in that video. I don't know when it's gonna come out, so it could come out before or after. Uh, you know, I don't really put my videos in any specific date. The fuck was all that? Uh, I just, you know, I stash them up until recording days are over. And then whatever I record just from me doing, uh, goofing around on the weekends or whatever, then that's when, that's when you see a little extra. Look at that. Look at that, 10 grand on a jump, man. That's pally power. <laughs> That's pally power right there, boy. I was trying to let him know, I'm like, trust me, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Which would have been true had we not gotten a pre-made Warsong Gulch where every freaking body on the Horty team was fully loaded. Uh, uh, and, and the, it was like three healers following the freaking flag carrier around. But when we did the ILC, it was much normal people and not a pre-made. So, I was right and wrong at the same time. <laughs> I would have been right had we had not gotten a freaking pre-made in the Warsong Gulch. But because the ILC wasn't a pre-made, he was able to see his full potential and spread his wings. Going 22-2 and two in an ILC. That boy was crushing. Okay? Yeah, I know me. I was doing my little thing. But that boy was crushing, alright? I, I had half his score. He went 22-2, and two, I went 11-0. and 0. So, you know, you know, a rogue gets to cherry pick. You don't get to cherry pick as a non-stealth. So 11-0 and 0 ain't no surprise for a rogue. 22-2 and in a full set of PvE gear because you got 7,000 AP. You freaking buster. Hey, if I gotta get stunned, you gotta get stunned. Oh, I'm dumb. I was about to say, if I gotta get stunned, you gotta get stunned too. That is not true. Wait, did somebody... He ran with the frickin' flag. I just realized that. I'm over here still fighting. So I was pretty... I was really just following him around to see what he could do. Because <laughs> I'm like, I want to see this 7,000 AP in, 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 in frickin' motion. So I was kind of following him around and cherry-picking people who were, like, fighting, uh, attacking him from the back. Uh, oh my goodness. A lot of people in here. Hammer down. He gone. Put that joint on. Don't need a lot more than a fade death. You understand? You understand, Hunter? Hammer down. Fuck out of here. I'm gonna get the distance on me. You can't get the distance on no paladin, baby. Let's, uh, they got no mana like right now. We need to get up on out of here. But yeah, I'm like, yo, 7,000 AP, trust me, you'll be perfectly fucking fine. That's the, that is the beauty of the power build. The sheer damage. It's overwhelming damage. 
And the problem is when you see here, like when I'm doing it on single player project like now, these bots don't panic. They will fight you to the end. Real people panic. So honest. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you just gonna watch this many minutes of the video and you ain't even gonna hit the subscribe button? That's crazy to me. Subscribe right now, man. Let's get back into the video. Hopefully it makes it a little easier because a real person, if they see some absurd damage go across their screen, they're gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then they're gonna start panicking. That's like I said in a, in, a, in a other video where back in the day I used to play on a private server called Smolder Forge. It was a TBC server. I had a dwarf named Angry Joe. He was a rogue. And I would stack uh, any gear that allowed me to have a ton of fucking gem slots. Which allowed me to have absurd levels of attack power. That thing Hunter didn't die? Shoot, well if he didn't die, I ain't dying either. Got dog. Thought he died. Lay on hands, baby. You can't stop me. What the fuck? How many of them is over here? Get that bull crap off me, man. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my- Oh shoot, I forgot. I had that what's name on. Love getting rooted in place for eight seconds uh, each and every time. Freaking druids. I'm going right back over there, dude. I'm going right back over there because I ain't got that joint on me no more. Oh shoot, hold up. Would've pulled up and did nothing. <laughs> Would've pulled up and did nothing, bro. Hammer down, he gone. What the fuck? Still wouldn't let me pop my bubble. Forbiddance was not on. What what happened? They just played me. Oh shoot, I'm dumb. God dog. <laughs> but yeah, I was letting them know I'm like at 7,000 AP. You got absolutely nothing to worry about because that's about as much AP as I have uh, when I'm doing the single player projects. The only difference will be uh, the gross amount I can get will be slightly higher due to certain items I got. But on the on base. Which he said he got up to 10k, which is about, which is very close to what I'm doing now. The fuck I just spawned you throwing putting roots on me, dude. Um, which is about base of where I'm getting. So with all, with the, with the couple of buffs I now have on, 62. Uh, if what's the name, Prox, that's another 1,472. Then if, depending on what I get here from Deathbringer, that could be 700 strength, which is like what for another 1400 AP, 14, 15, 1600. So, if I'm not mistaken, I've capped this character out about 11, 12, and she is missing the best ring too. So that might add a little extra. How do I have this? And not the ring from what the fuck? I got an agility ring on. I just realized this. I mean, a little extra crit, I guess. But uh, the ring you need is this. Oh, shoot. Well, actually, yeah, that'd be better. I mean, it's agility as well, but better stats. Yeah, see, now nah, we're not going to be doing the entangling roots, moon fire entangling roots. What the fuck is this, vanilla? I don't think so, baby. Yeah, and we definitely not doing no fucking Fury Warrior activity. Maybe we are, because freaking you wouldn't die. I was trying to check the ring. No, yeah, that's the ring I use sometimes. It's an agility ring, but I mean, it's got more than the agility ring I'm using. That AP is really what you're looking for. The AP, the crit, and the hit. That's 145, 100 stamina. I mean, the agility still gives you a little crit, too. So, I mean, crit is crit at the end of the day. The more you crit, the better. I got the boots, but I ain't got the I ain't got the ring. Huh. Uh I I will or won't gear them up. We'll we'll see. <laughs> I don't think it's that important, honestly. I'm I'm killing just fine. You just stop using what's the name. There's too many people. There was zero reason to use Avenging Wrath. That dang gorilla's still running. Think I'm done? On my face. 
No, you ain't, you ain't hit me with no wind furies. Get up on out of here. Get up on out of here, little shaman. I know what them shamans do. I was just on the shaman yesterday, baby. Speaking of though, you know what I mean? Like I said, the, the, the raw power build, if you can if you can get a raw maxed out power build, it's disgusting. It is and it's a ton of fun just watching people melt away. You know? <laughs> it's a ton of fucking fun. But you do gotta be careful because you are squishy. Though it works on other classes. The power build, I, I started the power build on rogue characters only. Rogues only. Because rogues can use it the most efficiently. Due to, you know, nobody can see you. And with that level of damage, you really don't have to cherry pick that much. Because rogues can... Rogues typically will cap out the most. Because there's more agility giving in chance than there are strength. Especially back in TBC. Uh, back in TBC, a full built war where is this? Oh shoot! Oh, see he going up the ramp. <laughs> I'm sitting back here chilling, looking for nobody because he's not over here. I ah, forget it. Uh, the rogues at the time could cap out way easier and way more. So, uh, a power build rogue and a full set of Sunwell gear could cap out about 4,600 AP, which is absurd. That's, that's, uh, that is a ridiculous amount of AP at level 70, right? With, uh, not the war glaives, unless you want the haste buff, but with the fist weapon and the dagger out of Sunwell, because they do, let me see, I don't remember, it's been so, it's been so dang long since I've seen them. So we got Sunwell here, Kel Jaden. Yeah, there they go. So these do more damage, that's why. So the Crooks Apocalypse, plus they have uh Um Gym slots and the Hand of the Deceiver. These two right here, okay, pair these up, put a bunch of power gems in them. The the duplicious, the duplicious geist, all the nastiest items you could get, the Thor doll. If possible, of course, that's a that's a fucking that's a stretch and a half. If not, is is some throwing weapon? I forget the name of it. Um, I think it's this joint right here. Yeah, so you get another gem slot. Or yeah, actually no, not the Thor doll. Or shoot, you could have went with this too if you didn't want to go with the dagger because it got two. Although not the smartest idea for a rogue because you don't want two two sixty weapons, especially in TBC. Where things were noticeably slower. I just wasted that dang buff, didn't I? Oops. Got seven seconds on it. Let's make it count. We made it half count. Uh but yeah, the dagger the crooks with the fucking with that dang fist weapon, a full power set, you could cap a rogue out at 4600 AP. Which is if if you don't know, for, for TBC, that is absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and for a warrior or a paladin and all the best stuff you could cap out about four thousand uh hunters could do a little bit over the road because they got normal buffs that you can constantly put on them like aspect of the hawk and true true sight or whatever the is called stuff like that so the hunter was the only person who could cap out above the how many is it? It's not that many. He gone. Uh, could cap out above the rogue. But, at the, the, but the problem with the rogue is because the rogue can sit in stealth and catch people on his own time versus everybody else getting caught out by other people, you can use it a whole lot better than anybody else can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, I had to cherry pick some people off of uh, Torment because he was getting attacked by multiple people. There's nothing he can do about that. You know, he's a paladin. He can't go stealth. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing my little cherry picking. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm, I'm a cherry picker. I find people. I see him. I see. I assess the situation. I'm like, eh, health wise, he's sturdy, but he might not be like popping like that. So I go at him. Simple as that. Um, where as a paladin, warrior, anybody who cannot go stealth, death knight, you know, you don't get to cherry pick. You are forced to fight whoever wants to fight you. Unless you freaking top champion runner of the of the year, you know. Dang, warriors be hitting too hard, bro. 
I have to hop on a warrior after this. Oh, we already did a warrior yesterday. I mean, whoever's next after this character, honestly, I'm kind of just going down the line. It's been so long since I've been on single player project, I'm really just going down the line of all my characters and who I want to play. Only person I've skipped so far is Jadem, because <laughs> I think I've uploaded enough rogue PvP. Still, some going to be coming out as well with all them dang freaking winning Wintergrass. The winning alliance has been trying so hard in Wintergrass. I don't know what's going on, but I'm freaking loving it because every Wintergrass has been a win. And I ain't mad at it. You hear me? I ain't mad at it. You know I mean? Fuck out of here. Oh no, see, we got the fucking stun you in place group over here. Stun me in place now, huh? Stun me in place now, I don't think you can. You're gonna die, buddy. Hammer down. Oh, I messed up. Now we hammer down. The fucking hold you in place group over here. Oh, shoot. Gotta get my health up. He just fucking torn stumped me. Good thing for paladin activity. Oh, 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 heal. Oh my goodness. See, when I saved the shield properly this time, I lived to fight another day. As were before, I kept popping freaking what's the name while I'm about to run into a group of 50 people. It don't work like that. But, uh, you know, I'm just really going down the line. Yeah, the power build is no freaking joke. If you can pull it off, trust me, crap is fun as fuck. How fast you see me killing people? That's real. Okay? That is real. Ask Torment. He, he, he's been able to, he has been able to experience what it's like to have 10,000 AP under his belt. Okay? <laughs> he, he now knows what it feels like. He now knows. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> I think he was going to play healer at first, but then he was like, no, nah, let me try Retribution. And I was like, how much AP you got in Retribution? Because he was talking about he has too much PvE gear. I'm like, nah, just, just, it depends on the AP. If you have a lot of PvE gear on, but you got low AP, high crit, that's where you're going to face a problem. You can have all the crit in the world, but if you ain't got the AP to supplement all that PvE gear, then yeah, I, I see where you might have an issue. He was like, nah, I got 7k. I'm like, oh, shoot, dude, you good. You're Trust me, you're good. Well, I, w I was half right. I was right because 7k a AP is good. Like you see now, I'm at 69, absolutely crushing, right? The problem is, like I said earlier, we got stuck in a freaking super group of, of ultra freaking tryhards and crap. <laughs> so while I was right, uh, I was also not expecting to get in a freaking horrid group of uh, what's the names, which is exactly the main reason why I stay away from Warsong Goats, because that's all it ever is. Uh, hello? Give me out this frickin' bubble. It's this root crap again, just spamming roots. Fuck out of here. Ah, dog. And look, I'm still stuck in play. He cast roots on me twice. That's how much he was spamming it. How can you cast roots on me twice, dude? Where the fuck are you going? Highly power, baby. I'm out here. You don't get to run. I got that old school build. We got fucking repentance. Stop a fool from a mile away. That vanilla type build, baby. Even though I was fucking awful at paladins in vanilla. I didn't mean I didn't know what could and did and didn't work. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just sucked at him. Fucking love repentance, though. A fool think he gonna run? Think he gonna get the distance on you? Ha, huh, paladin, you're too slow. Hit him with that repentance. And it's like, uh oh. The fight has just changed. That boy was going 22 and 2. I'm like, Pally Power, baby. Dude, the only reason why I ain't got a dang... Get the fuck out of here. The only reason why I ain't got a dang Paladin is, uh... Leveling in Wrath Lynch King kind of sucks. I'm waiting for that Cataclysm Dungeon Finder. It gets a whole lot better that point around. <clears throat> whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? Although, I, in all honesty, though... I don't know how many characters I'll truly be able to level. That's why I'm really hoping maybe somebody will come out with a single player for Cataclysm. That would be absolutely lovely to not be able to do all the Cataclysm PvP I want. And still be able to do some War Within as well. Because War Within looks mad interesting. I ain't gonna lie. But there's no way I can do War Within and Cataclysm. That would be just 
way too time consuming. I would literally not be able to do any dang thing else. And, and you know, life got other things you got to do sometimes. So a single player project allows me to hop on, do what I need to do, and boom, up, I'm what the fuck. And then boom, I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. You know what I mean? Done for the day. I don't really get to do that on retail. There are two different types of retails. I ain't messing with you, Shaman. I ain't messing with you. You don't get to move while we fight. Fuck out of here. That was a close call right there. I need I still need to get some dang add-ons. I keep forgetting. I, I need to do that when uh when I'm done recording. But yeah, I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make a Cataclysm and War Within works. Cause I mean, at this moment of time, Dragonflight has been a lot of good fun. It's been fun from the start and it's been fun from the ending. Getting some characters to 70, doing PvP. I just did some PvP on Barney yesterday. I'm getting back into the groove of the Marksman Hunter. When 16 and 0 on her, big 16 and 0. You know what I mean? I was second place on the entire leaderboard, baby. Just sniping people, sniping people. I mean, just. Like like I back like back like his back in fucking Shadowlands when I first made her, you know what I'm saying? Just beaming people. Some people not even getting an opportunity to survive. Like they they they'll be standing there thinking they all good, casting away, doing what they do, right? And then boom, a combo shot of about seven hundred thousand damage just hits them out of nowhere. And they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck indeed, dude? You know what I mean? I want to keep this open to see where the damage is stacking at. 6,000 flat right now. Oh, I ain't got my buff on. 63. No buffs. Well, out of the one we just put on. Got him on. Hey, we about to win. What the fuck? The shaman came back. Uh uh. Ain't nobody give you permission to come back, dude. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> Has stunned meant practically nothing because y'all ran me half the way through. Fuck out of here. Shammy activity. Uh, I said shaman activity. Uh, paladin activity, baby. I'm gonna run out of food. A lot of my characters are about to run out of food. I need to re up. But yeah, War Within looks interesting. I already know a cataclysm is played through the entirety of that expansion. That was a lot of fucking good fun, good memories, man. Fighting people outside of Orgrimmar. Duels outside of Orgrimmar, I mean, not really fighting, because you just get jumped. <laughs> fighting outside of Orgrimmar. Oh, but dueling people outside of Orgrimmar, correct, man? Those were the days, baby. Those were the days. You know what I mean? The level 20 twink days, that's when I first got into doing level 20 twink characters. That was a lot of good fun. The first time I ever found out about the server Moon Guard, which was uh, back in Cataclysm. Oh my goodness. Fucking shamans, dude. Fuck, that didn't kill her. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all not killing me. Not like this. Fucking shamans, dude. Oh, that was decent. That was decent right there. That was decent. The fuck? He fooled me. No! Fuck is this long stun? Oh, shoot. <laughs> God, dog, man. You know what I'm saying? But... I ain't, I, I've been playing on that server ever since then. It's an amazing server. A lot of people think it's completely just gold shot. That is the farthest thing from the truth. Uh, Moonguard is an incredible server if you're trying to raid, if you're trying to PvP, if you're trying to sail. Me, the main reason I went there at first well, was to see gold shot. I'm like, what the fuck is this ridiculousness? Because, you know, I was I, at the time and today, I still play on a, a Zul'jin and... Dragon Blight, right? Dragon Blight dead is for Zul'jin is popping with people, but they're never in one spot. Um, as where Moonguard is popping with people, not quite as big as Zul'jin, but it was insane to see a lot of them in one spot. Now it has changed quite a bit since Cataclysm. It ain't quite as dense as it once was, but I'm like, when the first time I seen that, I was like, what the fuck? 
This is madness. I need you to back the fuck off, dude. Okay, I'm about to get jumped again. Oh my goodness. Somebody gonna die. I'm about to say, how the fuck he ain't die? I'm about to say, dude. Um, <clears throat> you know, with the server, if you're if you plan on going there to be a salesman, easy. Just find with just find a niche and where you can fit in. Much like anything where you're trying to get big, find a niche that works where you can make stupid money at, and boom, the money will start flowing in. Right? Find a, 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 a something that you'll fit in. If you're trying to raid, easy. Freaking raiding guilds over there is ridiculous. You trying to uh PvP? Easy. Mad PvP guilds over there. What do you mean can't do this while moving? I'm trying to cast. I'm trying to fight. Oh. You trying to mess up my macro, dude. Don't do that. Don't break my macro, bro. It's my fighting. It's on me. <laughs> it's how I fight, you know what I'm saying? And then if you're trying to, it, like I said, if you're trying to sell crap, you could do that too. Transmogs, anything. Me, personally, I'm not a, I've never been the biggest fan of auction house selling because you got to worry about uh, busters un undercutting you. I'm more of a raw gold type of person. And if I don't do raw gold, then it's got to be mats because mats are guaranteed to sell like freaking hotcakes. You know what I'm saying? People gon' need mats. There's mats after all these years that still sell well, and they're not, they're not even close to being important mats anymore. But, they still sell well. Four and a half half. You know what I'm saying? So, the reason I went there was Goldshire, but the reason I stayed was because the, the, the vast community and the RPers, they'll buy any freaking thing if it makes their character look nice. <laughs> so, making gold was easy as fuck. But other than that, folks, you know what I'm saying? There's your paladin activity. Had to hop on the paladin, you know what I mean? Now I'm about to hop on whoever is next. I'm not sure. I'm just account hopping right now. I'm, I'm going, I'm playing all the characters on each account because it's been way too dang long. Uh. The fuck? Loud gate. Y'all, it's been your boy, Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good. Either way, you watched it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share with your people, join the legendary clan, support the channel, become legendary. Come out.